All right, what's up everyone? Sean here, and yet again, I uh, am making a tier list for um, characters I want most. And this time around, we are actually going to talk about Xenolith Zone Zero with it right around the corner. So hopefully by the time I uh, this video is out, um, it will be right before around that time. So, but basically, I am going to be talking about characters I want the most. Uh, pretty straightforward, right? Um, there, there, of course, this is a new game, so it's going to be a little different, right? As where, as to where, um, you know, like Genshin Impact and Star Rail, they have been well out at that point, um, especially with Genshin. So that does add a bit of a different, uh, context slash flavor to it, I guess you could say. But this is right, this is, this is before, this is pre-launch. So obviously perspectives are going to be very, very different uh, by the time uh, I'm very familiar with the game. And it will probably shift around potentially for certain characters. But I'll try to be more on like, you know, just like aesthetics, personality wise, because I not have not played a closed betas by any means. So I have no idea what their performance is like, but how they feel gameplay wise, all that stuff. So I'm going to just judge off of off of just like the videos the uh cosmetic side of things you know visuals right um personality and all that stuff so uh this is gonna be quite f um fun i guess you could say or at least for me anyway so let's start with off with ambi ambi is pr likely going to be the the free character so I'm just going to go for nice to have, you know, probably just having the extras of like the character that you have is, you know, kind of nice, you know, especially more on the, um, uh, you know, free to play side of things. I'll try to be, you know, the same, like low budget, right? Not so much like wailing on the game and all that stuff. Um, so when it comes to the characters you get, Hey, I mean, wouldn't it be nice to have more of them, right? So that way kind of chug along in the uh, early part of things right to get to the end game um as soon as possible efficiently as well nicole is also probably someone nice to have um solely because um you know yeah she's probably that character that's supposed to be like you know fan servicey sexy all that stuff she is kind of you know, she she she's that kind of character, right? You know, but unfortunately, she was sub she was she, she was the subject of censorship. Um, don't want to get into that too much, but basically, it's not so much like the um what happens after her was like you know anything bad or like what bothers me. What does bother me is that the vocal minority. Um, actually got what they wanted, right, in a way. You know what I mean? You see what, is, what, what that's going now? The fact that that happened, that's what kind of bothers me, right? Because it's like, why would, you know, why pay attention to these people? You know what I mean? I don't think there was really anything wrong with Nicole early on. If anything, you're going to attract more people, right? But... You know, it's their choice, of course. So, at the end of the day, that happened. And that's all there is to it, I'm, uh, I'm afraid. But nothing, nothing game-breaking or changing um, when it comes to the actual game of itself. But yeah, visually, on that side of things, it is annoying. You know? Um, I think she was, like, talked about more... When it, come, when it comes to the subject. But I'm not like so um, in love with this character just off of what I was able to see. If anything, I like um, Billy more. I like to... Uh, Billy is look, basically like a cyber um, dead, Deadpool than anything. He's like rambunctious, very out there, very colorful character. Um, can't, doesn't help the fact that he has two guns, kind of like Deadpool, you know, 
So it's a bit of a mix of like Dante, a bit of a mix of um or more of Deadpool, definitely. And then obviously you got the animeness thrown in there, you know. So pretty cool. Um, I say he's a pretty cool character though so far. And uh, I'll probably uh, have a number of him or a number of his copies pulled, you know, when I pull for other characters. Um, I think her name is Negomata, but I think her actual name is Negomia Mana or Mana Negomia. Depending on if you want to go for the Japanese way or the uh, English way. Um, I think, I guess she's like right there. But not by so much. You know, yeah, little cat girl kind of thing. But not my kind of type. My not my kind of uh, cup of tea. Um if anything, I would like to actually pull for um Coletta. I think Coletta's aesthetic is really cool. I like the whole sort of um the baggy pants, big poofy top, you know, sort of thing, or big Spiky top. I don't know if you, I, I guess it depends on your perspective. I don't know. I just like her aesthetic more. I think she's more he's up my alley more than uh, uh, Nekomia or Nekomata. Something about her about Coletta looks really cool. I like her crew, so it's only natural that I'm gonna like her more. You know, uh, the the president herself, right, of uh, Balabog. You know what I mean. Uh, that being said, of course, or speaking of which, we have, uh, Anton. Anton, um, yeah. I, I, th I think, um, sure, sure, why not? You know? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. There is, uh, actually one more, um, here that I need to add. I also forgot for another video, but anyway. Let's not, uh, get caught up on that too much. And, uh, let me see, add above. Let me see, let me see. Nice to get. Alright, let's just go with that for now. Nice to get. Um I guess it's gonna be like constellation wise, so um or copies, I'm just gonna say. Cause I don't know what the term is for um like constellations, ILONs, right? Um I guess nice to get right here. It's more like I don't know. I mean I I know she's like a good um, character get early with her DPS stuff. She's phys I think she's physical, right? But more like I don't know. I, I guess she she'll be like a low end of nice to get because I, I I I don't know. I'm like super whatever when it, when it comes to her aesthetic. Uh, personally, maybe her maybe her story will change a lot of things. But anyway, Ben bigger. Um, he will be free. So I'm just gonna go go ahead and put him. At the at the top, when it comes to nice to have for copies, right? I'm sure we'll be able to pull uh, multiple copies of Ben Bigger, along with the rest of the free characters, you know. So not much to say. I mean, he's a bear, right? Belongs to Billabog. He's a math geek, apparently. Um, yeah. I mean, personality wise, seems pretty cool, but uh, we'll we'll definitely see. I'm sure he'll be a cool character. But, you know, based off of, like, um, what I was able to see, yeah, he seems, he seems, he seems cool. Uh, one to pull next, we'll get, um, actually, let me put Anton right here, honestly. <laughs> I would want to, want to actually pull for Grace Howard. She's pretty simple aesthetically, but I like goggles and, on a girl and, mecha uh, Girls who do mechanic stuff. The the female sort of mechanic is uh kind of up there, you know. Um, gearhead, all that stuff. Yeah, I don't know. She's she's also pretty cool, as simple as she is. But she also got uh, hit with the uh the censorship. As well as Nicole, but for some reason Nicole uh, Nicole gets talked about even more, way more than uh, Grace Howard. But nothing not, that this one doesn't really bother me. I mean, I think she looks just as good, but yeah, the censorship is annoying. But her aesthetic overall is still likable, palatable. 
Um, yeah, I, I, you know, it doesn't change the fact that she still likes machines and robots and all that stuff. So I, I think it's pretty cool. Up next, Lycan. Lycan is definitely something probably nice to have. I'll probably put them a little higher than, um... Hmm. Then Nego Mia. Or whatever. Nego Mata. Um, he's a stunner, I think. He builds up stun gauge faster. He's, um, ice, so he'll definitely be helpful early on. Will he be power crept? Probably, likely. Um, he'll definitely be one of the standard rotation characters, so not much to say there. So, I'll eventually get him. So that's why I put, um, nice to get. I don't really hate him or anything like that. Uh, I know he's, you know, there's a whole, like, all furry thing. You know, same with uh, Ben, of course. But more so with, um, with Lycan, because, you know, he's more on that handsome side, admittedly. <laughs> um, yeah. I, 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 I know people who want uh, Lycan, and uh, especially, especially one friend. <laughs> anyway, um, but admittedly, his, uh, both his English and his Japanese voice are actually pretty nice. I'll I'll give him that. I'll give him that for sure. So that's why, hey, all the more than nice to get. Uh Corin? Corin is definitely a little more here. Like, yeah, you know, playing the whole like eh, like like the shy um girl trope once again. We just had that with uh Ho Ho. You know? And uh, who else is kind of like that? Oh, yeah, Sucrose. Su Sucrose is kind of like that in Genshin. But Huo Huo and Corin are definitely more like one to one with each other. You know? Like, I don't know. That whole shtick is, um, I don't know. It's like whatever to me. It doesn't, I don't hate it, but at the same time, it's been done quite a few times <laughs> already. Um,. Over the past year, even that alone. All right, so um, I think she's also free to get, if I'm not mistaken. So if anything, I'm gonna actually put her in the uh, nice to have, maybe more towards like uh, right here, right at least for right now. Um, Ellen, oh yes, this is where we get uh, a, little, a little strong here with the desire. Um, see, I want to say, take my wallet, right? But I think it's a little too early for that. Um, or I think it's not enough, even. I think Ellen is definitely the, the, the most desired unit for me. You know, the whole shark th girl thing, but like also, um, I like her personality already. She's like grumpy, kind of has that little bit of that tsundere, uh, touch to it. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think she hates getting complimented, but very like, I don't know, down to earth and all that stuff. I, I, I don't know. I like it. Pretty tomboyish as well. So that definitely checks off that as well. So, Hey, I'm all for it. Um, it is somewhere between take my wallet and, uh, here, but I'm going to put her right there for right now. It might change. I don't know. I could I could be uh foolish into putting the money that early on, but uh but yeah, because I don't know if I'm going to have this game be like the same with Honkai Star Rail and Genshin, you know, because I'm already putting quite a bit of money into the, those games, right? Uh, or I feel like I'm putting quite a bit of money into that genre already, rather, and I feel like this should. I should put a limit on that to just two games. And we'll see. We'll see if Zenless Zero takes over one of the two, right? Gen uh, Genshin or um, uh, Star Rail. Or, I mean, I may have even uh, a third. I don't know. Maybe if I like those three games that much at this point. We'll see. But for right now, yes. Ellen is uh, definitely the tippy top, uh, technically, so... Rena up next, probably around here. 
Uh, she seems like she's gonna be a very good support unit for a longer time. Just judging from like what she can do and all that stuff, and to kind of like help co uh, complete the collection, quote unquote, for the Victoria housemaids or housekeeping, excuse me, because not everyone's a maid. <laughs> um, yeah, you know. I like her aesthetic as well. That does help, but her kit is definitely uh, is more of the reason why I would like to have her. Would I try to, you know, I I, I know she's like in the uh, standard banner, so eventually I will have the choice to um, make that choice. We'll see. Um, like it's it's honestly like. Um, it, it well, first off, they're doing the same thing with Star Rail, right? So, if you're going to get 300 pulls, they will give you the opportunity to get a standard five uh S ranked agent in this case. So, I don't know, it really it definitely depends, right, on who I get along the way. But if I were to so choose right now from that opportunity. It would definitely be uh, Rena, right? You know, but it would be nice to have Coletta more because I like her aesthetic more. But from a gameplay sense side of things, Rena is definitely the the higher desired pick. But in terms of like character, personality, all that stuff, blah blah blah, Coletta takes it. You know. Uh, this character, I forgot her name already, but, um, she's basically Ayaka in a different package. A little, maybe a little more on the, uh, she's, she's less nice personality wise, you know, not as gentle. She's a little more tough, uh, more strict or straightforward. I think I could be wrong on that, but, um, I know she's not going to she's gonna be like that nice girl kind of, kind of trope. As much as um, uh, Ayaka. And then, you know, she got the whole, like, Iaido, you know, Virgil stuff, right? With the katana and all that. Minus the giant katana, but anyway. Or long katana. Anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, as much as that part is cool. Her overall sort of aesthetic and um, troping, uh, trope or whatever, her or overall shtick, is not screaming out to me. So I'm going to put her right around where uh, Lycan is. It's like, eh, alright, whatever. You know? Maybe, it, like, is she a better unit than Ellen is? Because they're both ice. I don't know. But... The the, the 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 desire meter is more towards Ellen because I like her aesthetically more, more than uh that that this character right here. I think it's like Yoshimi or something. I I, I don't know. I I forget her name already. But um, let me go ahead and clear that clear that up real quick here. But um, it's just like you know, definitely one of those one of those characters that don't scream to me as much. As much as a number of people are like going to be like designing for her, um, coming up, because so I think she is maybe sometime after uh, uh Ju Yuan, right? That's what I'm guessing anyway. By the way, by the way, all right. So Kaku, I think is um free, so I think she is going to be right around here for me. You know, Oni girl. You know, blue Oni girl, you know, that, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's kind of cute. But I think her gameplay kit does help with uh, where she is ranked in comparison to the other characters. So I don't know. I I'll definitely put her right there. I think she's right around where Ambi is. I like her. I like Ambi's look, you know. Um. Okay, so yeah, other than that, not much to say. Soldier 11, I'm going to put her right around... Um, here. Maybe she is going to be the better unit of the standard rotation. Um, I heard that she is going to be the hardest character to use 
if not one of the hardest characters because she is a little more of a rhythm based kind of character when it comes to attacking or hitting buttons there is a sense of timing so that's why she is uh, a little more high up there you know but um in terms of aesthetics not really screaming out to me i don't really like am gravitating towards this character lore wise is a little more interesting because there is strong similarities between ambi and soldier 11 as somebody pointed out on the internet um if you look at like some of their aesthetics they seem pretty similar so they could be like clone soldiers you know um i mean obviously soldier 11 i mean come on she has to be some sort of super soldier clone thing but ambi right that's definitely more more of the uh the his the mystery right there all right, Juyun, I think, is right around. Ooh, do I want her more than Coletta? I think so. I think she, I think she definitely looks really cool. Will I try to pull her right after? Maybe we'll see, <laughs> because um, I don't know. We don't, we don't know who is coming after Juyun. A Ju though, um, I, I, I like her. I like her look. Black and. They're both have some sort of black and red hair. I think she's, uh, I think Ellen is more like black and uh, kind of magenta ish, hot pink. And then Yu is more of, um, or Yuan is more of, um, you know, red, like actual red and black. All right. And, you know, policewoman, I think she's like, from what I've read, you know, chases for perfection too much with a where it actually becomes more of a detriment. But I think that's pretty funny. He's not like entirely serious, you know? So that's pretty cool. Nice little balance there. But a little more on the serious side for, for sure, but not entirely. All right. These two, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm so like whatever right now. So I'm just going to put them in nah. Um, they're kind of just like super whatever. Maybe that will change once uh, I see their kit. But even then, like, I, I mean, I like characters with bats or clubs or whatever. But I think when I saw her ultimate, I was like super whatever. So I'm going to more put more. I'm going to put them more towards nah. So I'm going to put them in nah for the sake of it. Um, I think Lucy's aesthetic is more interesting. But overall, I'm not I'm, I'm super uninterested. That's just kind of how I feel. Piper, definitely the least. Uh, Lucy, just because she has the bat, the helmet, you know, the, 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 the what do you call that? Like that mask is interesting. Uh, she does have more interesting aesthetics and all that. I don't know. Something about Piper is just like, nah. So that's why she's right there. <laughs> so, yeah. So no one is like, you know, um, super like oh yeah i take my wallet like ellen is probably the closest to it definitely but i don't want to put in my money just yet for the game so that's why um yeah no one is there there's definitely no character i'm like oh my god i gotta put my money you know what i mean down just to get this character or anything like that uh anything else uh no that's it right I know there's already like other characters hinted and stuff like that. They already like teased more characters, but this is this is it for right now. You know, this will definitely uh, grow as we uh, play more of the game and stuff like that. Uh, we'll get to 2.0 before we know it, and uh, this list will change up before we know it. So that that is pretty much it. What are your desires right away with the uh, launch of Zenland Zone Zero? How you guys feel about the game? Um, are there characters you really want? Uh, what about the characters you want the least? Put those in the comment section below. I'd love to read them. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out. And I do appreciate it. So this has been the uh, the tier list for characters I want the most for Zenland Zone Zero. Let's all have fun. Happy uh, Zenland Zone Zero launch. <laughs> and uh, hopefully... Um, you guys play responsibly. Because yes, this does evolve, involve with gotcha right which means potentially real money so do that responsibly and i think we'll all have a, a pretty good time hopefully with the game 
hopefully with the end game will be fun hopefully with the uh, the actual story and stuff like that will be fun as well um you know who knows how deep the lore will go like you know will it be like genshin and uh star rail in, in terms of like depth i don't know we'll see anyways thank you very much and uh hope to see you all in the next video Ciao now